My favourite sequence in the Dolby Atmos mix of Edge of Tomorrow is the very often repeated beach scene with the battle and there's so much going on with helicopters flying overhead and jets going over and it's kind of futuristic rockets firing up and past you and over the top and all of that. So, so that is a really good way of showing off for me what the home theatre Atmos does. In a theatrical environment, you have the surrounds typically are quite high up in the, in the cinemas. Whereas in the home, they'd be more likely to be at kind of ear level because they would be maybe floor standers. So one of the things I did quite a lot was to, to lift stuff up to accommodate that. So lift stuff into the ceiling channels to give you a sense of height. So I'm about to do um, a, what I guess thing you consider to be quite a gentle film. Um, a lot of the time is just very few characters um, going through forests and plains in the States. And, and one of the benefits that I think home theatre Atmos will bring to that is that we can make the environments, which are going to be extremely important in the film, really immersive and you'll really feel like you're in that place very strongly. Um, you can do that, obviously, to a certain extent in 7151, but to be able to to move things around you very specifically and to place you in the middle of the forest with the birds above you and the leaf rustle above you. And as the camera tracks up and down, that, that the sound will follow that very precisely. I think that's going to be a big advantage in that film.